All right, guys, welcome back to WDYD CSP. What do you do as a central sterile processor? All right, guys, today, join me as I reprocess a DaVinci handheld camera. Yet another accessory or another device by DaVinci. Now, this one here came down with its light cord still attached. And I'm going to show you how to detach this as you have to remove it in order to process it because they do not share the same sterilization parameters. Um, DaVinci recommends uh, that you use the specific container system for the camera and the facility can choose the container system for the light cord. So um, bear with me here as I show you how to disassemble the light cord. Okay, you first want to remove your accessories out of the camera uh, out of the container okay um, and check your containers for any disposables you want to get rid of all disposables um, from your containers okay we're gonna put this off to the side so I can demonstrate how to remove the light cord alright you want to be careful not to drop the light cord or the camera onto hard surfaces because there are some delicate and fragile components to it such as the um, glass tip and the actual end of the light cord Okay, you want to make some sense out of the spaghetti strings of the cords and then find the button on the camera connector that silver button right there you want to press it and very easily the light cord comes out okay when it's attached it's on there pretty secure press the button and the light cord comes right out simple as that guys all right we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna coil our light cord up and put this off to the side um, and we're gonna concentrate on processing the camera because the instructions for use for the camera is pretty uh, intense um, as is with most DaVinci uh, accessories but I also want to show you one other component to this light cord which is the light adapter okay this isn't a typical light adapter you can't turn it on the top of it you have to actually grab the base of the cord and the base of the adapter and turn counterclockwise and that adapter comes right on off okay and make sure not to lose that light adapter because it's specific to this light cord. All right, we're gonna put this to the side and as I stated, the instructions for use for the camera is different from that, I mean, instructions for cleaning the camera is different from that of the light cord. The light cord doesn't require any soaking in detergent. It actually requires a soak in rinse water. Um, and we'll talk about those instructions in a second. All right, we're gonna put our container in the, um, sink and I only have a two base sink here so and that's not a problem because our standards state that if you have a two base sink then you need to modify your cleaning uh, uh, practices to resemble a three sink process so what I'm gonna do is do the initial rinse and soak in the first bay and the second bay will be my uh, initial rinse um, and I know that sounds kind of contradictive but I'll ask I'll tell you why now, the instructions for use of DaVinci go straight into the soak. And I highly discourage individuals to do that with any devices. You wanna do an initial rinse of your device first because if the point of use used any pretreatment spray, gels, or, or foams, you wanna remove that off the device prior to soaking in detergent because OSHA regulation states that you should not mix chemicals. Um, and the chemicals used at point of use are different from that of what we use in decontamination. And if you've already diluted your detergent in the sink, you're going to be changing the dilution rate and, of course, changing the chemistry of that sink. So an in initial rinse. Also, the initial rinse removes any soils that can easily be removed. You don't want those soils floating in your sink while you're doing the soak right you you don't really want that so you want to remove the easy soils first with a good rinse and then you're going to soak your device to remove those soils that do not come off easily with a rinse or are difficult to see so we're going to go ahead and fill our sinks up so the first sink again is going to be my rinse and my soak sink so i'm going to fill it up to the uh the level that is uh, defined by our policies and procedures and then add the detergent temperature is extremely important so ensure that your temperature is at the right um, 
uh, 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 setting. So for this detergent is between 90 and 120 degrees. So adding our detergent. My second sink is filled up with uh, cool rinse water and um, I'll explain that in a second. So for the camera, it requires a 15 minute soak. I'm agitating the water here as you can see to distribute my detergent. Camera requires a 15 minute soak time. The actual light cord does not require a soak time in detergent according to the IFU. It's just simply going to wipe the light cord down and its container with detergent and then you're going to rinse for 60 seconds in rinse water. Now, I am going to soak the light cord. I'm not going to follow the IFU strictly on this one. I'm going to soak the light cord as well. Um, because again, if there's some stubborn soils on that light cord, simply wiping isn't just good enough all the time. So we're going to go ahead and briefly soak the light cord and the um, container as well. I didn't do an initial rinse because honestly, this device was rinsed prior to doing this video so that I'm not touching heavily soiled items while I'm recording. Um, that's for another video and a different purpose. So you want to make sure that you submerge your devices as well as the, um, the containment system and then place the light cord adapter in the water as well. You want to make sure that you fully submerge your devices for devices that cannot be submerged or that they float. You want to use something to weigh it down. I promise you that this is being submerged. Now, at this point of the video, I'm allowing the 15 minute soak time, but I'm going to speed up this video because we're not just going to sit here and uh, talk for 15 minutes that long while it's soaking. So it's a brief soak for the actual light cord. I'm not gonna wait the full 15 minutes with the light cord. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a sponge and wait about a couple minutes, maybe anywhere between one to five minutes. I'm gonna follow the IFUs of the detergent for soaking devices to clean. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my supplies, which is actually a soft bristle brush and a sponge or low linting towel. For this purpose, it will be a sponge. And when that one to five minutes is done, because this is a hand wash item and it will not go through the washer, we're going to apply that friction to the container, put it in the rinse water, make sure that I place the light cord adapter in there as well. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe my light cord off while inspecting to make sure that it is clean. Okay, using the brush to get the light cord adapter put it in the rinse water that has sat there for a minute um, and get that device get that detergent and possible microorganisms off of those devices same thing with the container the container I wipe off place it into the rinse water and the camera I am wiping down under the surface of the water using a soft bristle brush on the connector of the camera not on the lens of the camera according to the IFU you cannot use a brush of any type on the lens of the camera take the actual device out of the detergent place it into the rinse water and according to the IFU you want to use pressurized water around the head of the camera on the adapter but never on the light on the lens of the camera inspect for cleanliness and neatly coil it back into its container to take it to another sink where I'm going to do the treated water rinse. This is an extremely important part of this uh, cleaning process because the detergents are difficult to remove. It requires by the IFU a 60 second rinse in either submerged treated water or running water. In this case, it will be spraying. We are spraying the device and then we're gonna place it neatly back in its container, making sure you get the lens and the connector, um, and then a brief little air, and there we go. We've just processed the device.